Hey guys, and time for a channel update, because why not? It's been a couple of weeks, and I did say I was going to do these more often, and hmm, we've already missed a week. But that was because generally not that much has happened. Uh, we have, of course, started the two new Let's Plays. We have started uh, Blue Stinger, which I've had some issues with. It's not been perfect. However, we, we've got a workaround for that. Um, we're also doing Luigi's Mansion, which is almost complete now. I think we're at about 24 videos on that game. Um, because we are, once we finished the main story, we went around and we decided to do the super secret mansion mode, which I've heard is quite difficult. And, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's hard. It's incredibly hard. But we are slowly winning. Now, also, because I have a working Dreamcast, touch wood for now, um, a long time ago, I did say that I was going to do... Oh, fuck me. What was that? Uh, five years ago? Longer? I said I was going to do loads of Dreamcast content. Now, my Dreamcast stopped working. So I bought this one. And then this one stopped working. Uh, yeah. That was right. I, yeah. And then I plugged this one in uh, a couple of weeks ago and fuck my ass. It works. So, yeah, we're going to be enjoying that. Anyway, uh, I do like to pick up old school games for my collection. And I've been looking at the price of Dreamcast games, guys. And shit, they are expensive. Um, one particular game that I wanted to play uh, ever since they came. Well, ever since it came out all those years ago, um, and it's right up the channel street, and it's only on the Dreamcast as well. It's a unique game to the Dreamcast. I was going to buy it, and in the local shop we have downtown that sells old retro e-games, it was 80 quid, and I thought, ooh, oof, that's, uh, that's a little bit more than I want to spend on a game for one playthrough. So I went online to eBay and it's fetching anywhere between 100 and 200 pounds. Yeah, that that's way more than I want to pay for a game, to be honest. So I did the only thing a logical human would do, a logical sane human would do. Um, I used to have a DVD burner in my PC, but then I got a new case. And this case does not have space for a DVD drive because progress, right? Progress always feels like we're going 10 steps forward and then 30 back, doesn't it? So um, I've bought one of these. <gasps> what could possibly be on this? That's for me to know and for you guys to find out in the future. Uh, I've, I've been told that these drives are not very reliable. This one has burned about ooh, 30 games in the last two weeks. Yeah, last two weeks, last two days. <laughs> yeah, um, I have filled out a whole CD wallet full of Dreamcast games in the last two days because it's such an easy console to burn for. Now, I do not support piracy. I want to make this very clear. But when a system that you want to play games for, the games are not available on any other system and they're out of print and they are ludicrous price, uh, I don't see any problem with copying games um on the pickup note and uh, one second i need to go get them on the pickup note i have just got them i did pick up a couple of games uh this week i managed to pick myself up zelda a link between worlds which is actually a game that i've wanted to play for ages because my favorite game that i my one of my favorite zelda games was a link to the past man i love that shit and this is basically a spiritual successor reboot essentially to that i mean the map and the overworld and everything is basically exactly the same chuck this into the old uh, new 3ds xl the other day and man i'm having a blast with this game it is on the eShop for like 16 quid for a digital version but i managed to pick that up for 12 at my local cdx happy with that Another game that I picked up recently was Splatoon for the Wii U. 
There we go. Pick that up for 10 quid. Now, I've not played Splatoon. I don't... No, I have actually played it a long time ago. A little bit. And it's a very interesting kind of uh, online shooter, I suppose. I don't know if there's any... Um, oh, yeah. It says on the back, go solo. There is a solo mode. Um, yeah, it's essentially a four on four um squad based shooter except it's a nintendo game so you don't use guns you use ink yes you squirt ink at each other and it's actually quite a unique idea it's it's really interesting uh and i know there's one of you out there jimmy <coughs> that has enjoyed this immensely now i don't like online games your cooler dudes your uh battlefields your fortnites Ugh. Ugh, no, that's not my sort of thing. Even your Overwatches, ugh, uh, which I have played a lot of in the past. I can't get into online games. I just it, it doesn't matter who I play with or whatever. I just get so bored so quick. You know, it's just doing that repetitive bollocks. Just jump into a map, shoot everyone, wait for the next map to start, do it again and again and again. You got the screaming squeakers to deal with and little like four-year-olds going on about how they fucked your mum and all the rest of it yeah yeah never really been into my online um games to be honest but i do like co-op uh big fan of co-op in games like gears of war halo that sort of thing very much like that sort of shit now the last game that i picked up this week is bayonetta true for the wii u for a fiver Fiver, holy shit, man! Yeah, um, I played the original Bayonetta back on the 360, and it was alright. I enjoyed it. It was weird. It was kind of like Devil May Cry, but much easier. And the protagonist was quite interesting. She's a witch who wears her hair as her clothes and has guns on her feet. And yes, that's basically it. And she tortures demons and things. Uh, I may never play this game, but it was cheap, so I picked it up. Now, I have a huge backlog of games that I do need to start getting through for the channel. Um, a huge backlog of games, actually. I have been asked for a very long time by Mr. Blind Man to let's play Fatal Frame. Yes. Fatal Frame. Now, here's the thing with that. I actually do have Fatal Frame. One second. Did I say Fatal Frame? Excuse me. I, of course, mean Project Zero. Yes. I actually bought this uh, a year ago, two years ago, something like that. This was an expensive game. This cost me... I, my memory's a little bit fuzzy, but I'm pretty sure... This was either 35 or 40 pounds. And I did start recording it. Um, and I've got, let me check, go back into the archives of my, my hard drive here. Uh, Project Zero, it's still here, man. Right, I have nine. No, because one's a two part. I have eight videos that i recorded of this game when did i record them when was my last 26th of july 2019 right so actually yeah just pretty much a year ago um i like this game i like this game a lot what i didn't like about this game was the controls I could not get on with the controls on this game whatsoever. I really did struggle. Big time. Um, to the point where I actually gave up. I literally rage quitted. Quitted? Rage quit the uh, series. Now, I do want to go back to this. I actually... The, the controls on this game were so shit... Um, and it wasn't even controlling the main character. It was when you were actually fighting the ghosts. When you when you opened up the camera. I can't even remember what the camera is called now. Hmm. It just says upgradable camera weapon. I know the camera's actually got a name. Um, 
yeah, controlling the camera, pretty uh, character, pretty much Resident Evil like. The story, very interesting. The strangulation ritual, I, I remember that. And it was good. I really enjoyed this until it started getting really combat heavy. And then the game fell apart. And I realized I was just shit at it. And I actually rage quit. I got so angry. Um, I rage quit with it. But I thought the controls were so bad. I thought, oh, my controller must be fucked. So I went, uh, I spent ages uh, trawling through eBay and, and, and places like that. And I bought myself a brand new, <laughs> new old stock PlayStation 2. Uh, DualShock 2. Not a fake reproduction one. A genuine um, PlayStation 2 brand new uh, DualShock. Because I think I only had... I think I was playing it with some shitty Logic 3 third-party controller. Something like that. Yeah, pretty sure it was. So anyway, uh, I cut this motherfucker open to the chagrin of my brother, who was very angry that I had opened a priceless relic. But I'm like, yeah. I don't, I don't buy these things to put them on shelves and look at them. I buy them to use. Um, so, yeah. And no. No, it wasn't the controller. It was just, I'm shit and the game was hard <laughs> for me. Uh, so, I am thinking about uploading that. If anyone wants to see that failure of, of a, the train wreck of an LP... Yeah, I'm I'm happy to up because it's just sat on my hard drive for a year, you know. There's also another LP that I started recording. Ooh, oh my God, guys! I've got an LP here that I started recording back in 2018. Oh my, that's going into the archives. Oof. Yeah, no more on that one. Um, right, yeah, so I will upload that. But I do want to try this game again because I've seen a few LPs of this. And people don't struggle like I did. I Maybe I'm just thick and shit, which is probably the case. I'm, I'm not going to... I'm not going to tell you it's the game's fault or something like that. But the controls, when you control the camera, are awful. At least... I thought so. Now, uh, I also had an issue with my microphone. When we went to record the Microsoft, uh, me and the missus, we did the Microsoft reaction thing. And literally, the countdown was starting. We was all ready to watch it and all that shit. And this ring, you're probably just about to see it. This ring here on my microphone, yeah, uh, broke somehow. And... Luckily, she did manage to track me a new one down online. Um, we tried gluing it. We tried duct taping it. Yes, duct taping it. We tried everything to, to repair this, this microphone uh, stand. Um, and nothing worked. We couldn't get it done. So we actually had to like kind of take it off and use the pop shield to kind of wedge it on this, this boom arm here, which was... Well, it's about as successful as you'd imagine it would be, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so she's finally managed to get me a replacement, one of those, which is actually about a week ago now, which was good. It was amazing of her, because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to uh, continue for a while. <laughs> it was not easy to find that either. You would have thought, you know, popular microphone, popular well-known brand, replacement parts, fairly easy to get. Well, that could be due to the, you know, the, the C virus going around, to be fair. Yeah, didn't think about that. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Um, what else did I... Ha ah, yes, I was also going to talk about uh, Rants with Rich. Uh, we did sit down to record one yesterday. We both ran out of time. We both had other prior commitments that kept us from doing it. We are planning... Not guaranteed, planning one today. We did plan one last week as well, but we didn't have time and we didn't get matched up. Uh, so hopefully that, that will start 
fairly soon. Um, so, I was going to ask what you want to see next, but actually we'll, we'll wait for a little bit yet because we've got a lot of stuff coming up soon. Ah, yes, Blue Stinger. Uh, the whole VGA debacle. What I've ended up doing, because you guys deserve the best quality, what I have done, uh, I have downloaded and burnt a American copy of the game. Um, a UNS... Let's try that again without being distracted this time. Uh, NTSC version of the game. Um, not It is actually the American version, not the Japanese version. Because the Japanese version is actually quite a lot different. Uh, maybe we'll have a look at that because it's got static um, camera angles like the original Resident Evils. Uh, but yeah, I've actually got that and I've tested it now with my VGA adapter, which is not actually a VGA adapter. I have this here. Really cool cable. Uh, and all it is is a HDMI converter for the Dreamcast. Now these have been around for years and years and years and they've all had one thing in common. Um, they've all been shit. But this company, Kai, Kaiko, bought this out a few months ago. The camera's very exposed at the moment and that's actually the wrong way around. There we go, it's Kaiko. It's a Kaiko DC HDMI converter. Now what this does is acts as the HDMI box. There you go, Dreamcast to HDMI. Eh, focus, you son of a bitch. Okay, Dreamcast to HDMI. And this one's really good. It's quite a bit more expensive than um, other Dreamcast um up converter cables or upscaler cables it's about double the price actually but it actually really works and before i bought this i read loads and loads and loads of reviews and basically everyone was saying and watched loads of reviews online and they were basically saying yep this one's actually good it's really good it's takes your dreamcast vga box your vga converter everything all the three different boxes and cables that you usually need to get vga out of it and turns it into that and it's a wonderful product and it works pretty much on every game all the games that support vga now when i went to buy this they've actually stopped selling this product in the uk uh temporarily uh, because of the, the C virus. So I was actually very lucky to get this. Um, they're not, I think they're back in stock now, uh, but they did actually stop bringing these to, to the UK for a while, which was, I was <laughs> bought one of the last ones they actually had. Um, so yeah, this is the magic little box that makes the Dreamcast much, much easier to record. And it's also the box that is responsible for all of our problems uh, on Blue Stinger. But between this box and this box, hopefully in the future, we're gonna have an awful lot more Dreamcast content coming. So anyway, that pretty much concludes this update video. I think I've, uh, I think I've covered everything that I wanted to cover pretty much. Hmm. So guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.